Have you ever felt that life is a series of events happening to you, rather than something you can actively shape? Many people navigate their lives on autopilot, reacting to circumstances rather than creating them. What if I told you that you have the power to bend reality at your will? This is the hidden world of cause and effect, a fundamental principle that when understood and harnessed can transform your existence to comprehend the art of bending reality. One must first grasp the basics of the Kansi. EPT of cause and effect, everything in life is interconnected a web of actions and reactions. Imagine your life as a canvas and every decision, thought, and action as strokes of a brush. The colors you choose and the strokes you make determine the masterpiece that is your reality. Cause and effect are the brushes that shape this masterpiece. The lore of cause and effect has ancient roots that extend deep into the philosophical and spiritual traditions of, of various cultures. One of the earliest recorded expressions of this concept can be traced by seek to ancient Eastern philosophies, particularly in the teachings of Buddhism and Hinduism in these traditions. The law of karma closely aligned with cause and effect is a fundamental principle governing the cycle of birth, death and rebirth in Buddhism. The concept of karma asserts that every action, whether mental, verbal, or physical, has consequences that shape one's present and future experiences. Positive actions lead to favorable outcomes, while negative actions result in suffering and adversity. This interconnected web of cause and effect is believed to as oh, extend across multiple lifetimes, creating a complex fabric of experiences for individuals. Similarly, in Hinduism, the law of karma plays a pivotal role in the cycle of samsara, the cycle of birth death and rebirth, the Bhavat Gita. A sacred text in Hinduism expounds on the significance of understanding one's dharma duty and performing righteous actions to accumulate positive karma. The law of cause and effect as articulated in these ancient philosophies underscores the idea that individuals are architects of their destinies, molding their realities through. Ah, uh, the choices they make as these Eastern philosophies flourished the concept of cause and effect, found resonance in other cultures and belief systems in ancient Greece. The philosopher Heraclitus expounded on the idea that change is the only constant in the universe. He famously stated everything flows, nothing stands still. Emphasizing the dynamic and interconnected nature of existence, Heraclitus's philosophy laid the groundwork for Western thought, on cause and effect, influencing subsequent thinkers like Aristotle. Aristotle, a towering figure in Wester, and philosophy delved into the notion of causality in his work metaphysics he categorized causes into four types, material, formal, efficient, and final material. Causes refer to the substance of an object. Formal causes pertain to its structure. Efficient causes involve the processes that brought it into existence, and final causes relate to its purpose. Aristotle's exploration of cality became a cornerstone in Western philosophical discourse, influencing the development of natural sciences and metaphysics. The law of cause and effect continued to evolve through the ages shaping various religious philosophical and scientific perspectives in the realm of physics, Sir Isaac Newton's laws of motion and universal gravitation in the 17th century marked a significant milestone Newton's laws, demonstrated that every action has an equal and opposite reaction, providing a scientific foundation for the law of cause and effect. The deterministic worldview emerging from Newtonian physics suggested that if one could know the initial conditions of the universe precisely, the entire future could be predicted. But how exe, CTLE can the law of cause and effect be harnessed well? The power lies in recognizing that you are not merely a passive observer, but an active participant in this cosmic dance life doesn't just happen to you. You happen to life. Once you embrace this perspective, you gain the ability to hold your reality deliberately. Consider your thoughts as the seeds of causation. Every idea is a potential cause, and like seeds, they have the power to grow into tangible results. The parable of the mustard seed is an ancient story that has been passed down through various religious and philosophical traditions, including Buddhism and Christianity.
It is a tale that encapsulates the profound wisdom of harnessing the law of cause and effect in the context text of personal growth and transformation. The parable begins with a man who, seeking enlightenment, approaches a wise teacher. He is eager to understand the nature of life and the universe in response. The wise teacher holds up a tiny mustard seed barely visible in the palm of his hand. The teacher tells the seeker that within this minuscule seed resides the potential. To grow into a large and robust mustard plant, the symbolism behind this story is profound. The mustard seed represents the seemingly insignificant actions, thoughts, and choices that make up our daily lives, just as the mustard seed contains the blueprint for a mighty plant. Our small, everyday actions contain the potential to shape our destiny. The parable emphasizes that every choice we make, no matter how inconspicuous, carries the power to influence the course of our lives. Understanding and applying the parable of the mustard seed involves recognize. Nung the interconnectedness of cause and effect, each action, no matter how small, sets off a chain reaction that ripples through the fabric of our existence by being mindful of our thoughts, words, and deeds, we can plant the seeds of positive change and personal growth to harness the power of the mustard seed in our own lives. We must first become conscious of our intentions and actions. This requires self-awareness and a willingness to take responsibility for the energy we contribute to the world, just as the farmer tends to the soil to ensure a bountiful harve. Est we must cultivate the fertile ground of our minds and hearts. The cultivation process involves cultivating positive habits, nurturing a growth mindset, and fostering gratitude when we approach life with an open heart and a willingness to learn from every experience we create fertile soil for the mustard seeds of transformation to take root. This mindset shift allows us to see challenges not as obstacles, but as opportunities for growth and self-discovery. It's crucial to understand that causation isn't confined to the realm of thoughts alone actions. Are the tangible expressions of your thoughts think of your actions as the hands shaping the clay of your reality? Each choice you make, no matter how small, sets off a chain reaction influencing the world around you and in Lear shaping your experience. Now let's explore the concept of delayed gratification, a powerful aspect of cause and effect in our fast-paced world. Instant results are often favored over patient strategic efforts. However, true mastery over reality requires understanding that some effects take time to manifest. Planting, a tree doesn't yield. Immediate shade, but with patience, it transforms into a Sanctuary One philosopher who dealt del deeply into the nuances of delayed gratification and its implications on human behavior and success is Walter Michel, born in Vienna in 1930. Michel became renowned for his groundbreaking work in the field of psychology. His influential research on delayed gratification, particularly the famous Stanford Marshmallow Experiment, shed light on the intricate interplay between self-control patience and long-term success. Michael's research conducted in the late 1960s and S and early 1970s aimed to understand the cognitive and emotional processes that underlie the ability to delay immediate rewards for more significant delayed rewards, in the Stanford Marshmallow Experiment, young children were offered a choice they could either eat a single marshmallow immediately or wait for 15 minutes and receive two marshmallows as a reward. The study revealed stark individual differences in the children's ability to delay gratification, with some being able to resist the temptation and others succumbing to instant satisfaction. Wah. To make Michelle's work particularly fascinating was its implications for life outcomes. Follow-up studies conducted years later found that the children who exhibited better self-control and were able to delay gratification tended to fare better in various aspects of life such as academic achievement, health, and even social relationships. Michelle's findings challenged the prevailing notion at the time that self-control was a stable personality trait, suggesting instead that it could be influenced and developed over time. Mischel's perspective on delayed grar. Adification encourages us to reconsider the nature of self-control and the factors that contribute to success in a world where the allure of immediate rewards often overshadows long-term goals. 
His research reminds us that the ability to delay gratification is a skill that can be cultivated and refined. It's not merely about resisting temptations in the moment, but understanding the broader consequences of our actions and choices. Furthermore, Michelle's work underscores the importance of cognitive strategies in mastering delayed gratification. He found that children who were successful in resisting immediate rewards often employed mental strategies to distract themselves from the temptation, such as focusing on other aspects of the environment or imagining the future rewards. This insight suggests that the ability to delay gratification is not solely dependent on willpower but involves a complex interplay of cognitive processes and emotional regulation. Walter Michel's exploration of delayed gratification and its connection to the ability to navigate the complexities of cause and E effect aligns with the broader philosophical concept of the law of cause and effect. The law of cause and effect posits that every action has consequences, and these consequences are intricately linked to the actions that precede them in the context of delayed gratification. Mel's work provides insights into how individual choices and actions manifest over time, shaping the outcomes in one's life. Think of your efforts as investments in your future. Every action, every decision is a deposit into the bank of your reality. The compounding interest, O, oh, if positive actions yields a life rich in fulfillment and success. Rome wasn't built in a day, but each brick laid was a cause contributing to its eventual grandeur. Consider the people you surround yourself with as another critical factor in bending reality. Relationships are not only effects of your choices, but also also potent causes that shape your journey. Positive supportive connections can be catalysts for growth. While toxic relationships may hinder your progress, cultivate an environment that nourishes your aspirations and watch as the ripple effect transforms your reality, the concept of cause and effect isn't limited to personal endeavors. It extends to societal and global scales. The butterfly effect, a term popularized by chaos theory, further emphasizes the profound interconnectedness of events in the universe, coined by meteorologist Edward Loren. The butterfly effect suggests that the flap of a butterfly's wings in Brazil could set off a chain of events that leads to a tornado in Texas. This metaphorical illustration vividly conveys the sensitivity of complex systems to initial conditio, hence in the exponential amplification of small influences. Over time, in the grand tapestry of cause and effect effect, the butterfly effect reminds us that seemingly insignificant actions can have far-reaching consequences. It underscores the unpredictability and sensitivity of systems emphasizing the idea that small changes in the present can lead to significant and unpredictable outcomes in the future. This concept resonates with Michelle's exploration of delayed gratification as the choices we make in the present moment may unfold into profound repercus, science down the line in the realm of personal development. The butterfly effect prompts reflection on the significance of seemingly minor decisions, a small act of kindness, a moment of self-discipline or a constructive choice may serve as the catalyst for a series of positive events that shape the trajectory of one's life, conversely a moment of negligence or a poor decision, may set off a chain reaction with unintended and undesirable consequences. Understanding the butterfly effect encourages mindfulness in our actions as it highlights the pot. Enchal magnitude of even the most seemingly Inconsequential choices expanding this perspective to the societal and global scales. The butterfly effect becomes particularly relevant in understanding the dynamics of interconnected and complex systems. Social, economic, and environmental systems are intricately linked and seemingly isolated events can trigger cascading effects that reverberate across the globe. A change in policy, a breakthrough in technology, or a cultural shift in one part of the world can have profound implications for societies. On the other side of the planet, now let's delve into the importance of intentionality. Many people drift through life without a clear sense of purpose, allowing external forces to dictate their reality, to bend reality at your will. You must, must be intentional about your goals and desires. 
Define what you want and set your intentions accordingly. Your intentions become the compass, guiding your decisions and actions aligning them with the reality you wish to create. Intentionality is not about rigidly controlling every aspect of your life, but rather about T. Consciously directing the flow of causation, it's the difference between sailing aimlessly and steering towards a destination with clear intentions, you become the captain of your ship, navigating the sea of causation with purpose and determination in the realm of philosophy. One notable thinker who delved into the intricacies of intentionality is Edmund Hussell. The father of phenomenology, born in 1859 in what is now Czech Republic Hussle's work, has had a profound impact on the understanding of consciousness and human experience. His exploration of intentionality forms a cornerstone of phenomi, phenology, a philosophical approach that seeks to describe and understand the structures of consciousness as they present themselves in everyday experience. Hull's concept of intentionality goes beyond the everyday use of the term. In philosophy, intentionality refers to the directedness of consciousness toward objects, according to Hussle. All consciousness is essentially intentional. It is always consciousness of something. This intentional structure is what allows us to engage with the world, perceive objects and attribute meaning to our experiences. For Huell, intentionality is not merely a passive act of awareness. It is an active and dynamic process through which we give meaning to the objects of our perception in his seminal work. Logical Investigations Husserl explored how intentionality shapes our understanding of reality. He argued that our consciousness is not a mere mirror reflecting the external world, but is actively involved in constituting the objects of our experience, applying Hell's insights to the discussion of intentionality in our El Wall. Ives, we can draw parallels between the intentional structure of consciousness and the need for a clear sense of purpose. Just as consciousness actively engages with and gives meaning to the objects it encounters, individuals must actively engage with their goals and desires to give purpose and direction to their lives as you embark on this journey of intentional living embrace the principle of responsibility recognize that you are the architect of your reality and with this realization comes the power to shape it taking responsibility for your tho ot's actions and their consequences is the Cornerstone of bending reality at your will in the grand mosaic of life, challenges and setbacks are in inevitable, however, rather than seeing them as roadblocks, view them as opportunities for growth. The way you respond to adversity becomes a cause that influences the subsequent effects in your life. By adopting a resilient mindset, you transform obstacles into stepping stones, propelling yourself forward on the path of your choosing. At the heart of resilience lies the philosophy of Stoicism, a school of thought that originated in ancient Greece. Stoicism teaches individuals to navigate the tumultuous seas of life with a calm and rational mind. The Stoics, such as Seneca Epicus and Marcus Aurelius, believed in the power of reason, virtue, and self-discipline as tools to achieve tranquility and withstand the challenges that life presents. One of the fundamental tenets of Stoicism is the notion of focusing on what one can control and accepting what one cannot. Seneca, a prominent Stoic for philosopher, wrote extensively about the importance of understanding, the difference between things within our control, such as our thoughts and actions, and those outside our control, such as external events and the behavior of others. By embracing this dichotomy, Individuals can liberate themselves from the burden of unnecessary worries and anxieties, channeling their energy into constructive actions. Now let's address the role of gratitude in reality. Gratitude is the bridge between the present and the future, a powerful force that amplifies the positive effects in your life when you appreciate the good in your cue. Rent reality, you attract more of it. Gratitude is not just a sentiment, but a cause that sets in motion a chain reaction of positivity, creating a ripple effect that touches every aspect of your life as we delve into the exploration of gratitude and its transformative power. Power. 
it is fitting to turn our attention to the rich tapestry of African philosophy, where profound insights into the human experience have been woven over centuries. One such philosophy that resonates with the essence of gratitude is Ubuntu Ubuntu, often described as an African. Worldview hails from the Unibantu languages and can be translated as I am because we are this philosophical concept encapsulates the interconnectedness of humanity, emphasizing the idea that our individual well-being is intricately linked to the well-being of the community. In the Ubuntu philosophy, gratitude is not merely a personal practice, but a communal one the acknowledgement of the interconnectedness of all people, fosters a deep sense of appreciation for the contributions of others to our lives. Gratitude within the framework of Ubuntu extends beyond the immediate sphere of personal experiences to encompass us a broader collective gratitude for the shared human experience. It is a recognition that our individual journeys are intertwined with those of others, and our successes and joys are inextricably tied to the collective achievements and well-being of the community, this interconnectedness cultivates a sense of responsibility towards one another, fostering an environment where gratitude becomes a shared currency that enriches the entire community in conclusion. Bending reality, I at your will is not a mystical endeavor reserved for a select few. It is a practical and accessible art that anyone can master by understanding the interconnected dance of cause and effect, embracing intentionality, taking responsibility, and infusing gratitude into your daily life. You become the maestro, orchestrating the symphony of your reality. Life is not a spectator sport, it's a participatory dance where your every step shapes the rhythm of your existence.